Hello there. Another Twinkie Martinez vlog. Just more of a channel update, so to speak. Not so much uh, my adventures. Recently, I, I was going through this old hard drive of mine and discovered some stuff I did about three years ago, some film work. In 2014, December 2014, um, I did a short film for the 48 Hour Film Festival called Damascus. Uh, it was my first time ever working with Andrew Bowie, you know, this guy. We, we, uh, that was our first time working together, and on that film, or for that, for that 48, uh, I drew silent film. So the film's not going to have any dialogue. It's going to be mostly just visuals and an underscore of music. Well, not underscore, but all you're going to hear is music and like maybe some sound effects. But other than that, it's just visuals and music because it's supposed to be a silent air type film. Of course, people who watched it didn't like it because we didn't use the standard four by three aspect ratio, but that's a whole nother, whole nother thing. Also, three years ago, there was a web series I shot before Damascus, about a month before, called Flushed. Um, this mug is primarily in every episode, somehow a part of it. Uh, the reason for reposting Damascus and the Flushed web series is both of them were not on my YouTube channel. Damascus was on Vimeo, my Vimeo, which I rarely used, and Flushed was part of the HollywoodSouth.com YouTube page. It's because me and that guy Scott and some other people were kind of forming a production company or something and Flush was supposed to be the first product it puts out. So they never were on my particular channels and I look back on them now and I know so much about color grading than I did then so I decided to revamp them. So Damascus looks a lot different than it did then. Um, it looks a lot more cleaner I think, at least color wise. Flush on the other hand, it was shot with a T4i and Damascus was shot with a 5D Mark II. So there's, the color is way different on, on Flush. Not a lot I could do with it as much as I could with Damascus, uh, but I did fine tune some edits and things like that. Flush was not, uh, cinematography was not done by Andrews. This is before I met Andrew. So Flush's cinematography is atrocious. But I do think there's some interesting um, choices I made with directing and blocking and things like that, working with a lot of um, actors I've never met before. Uh, I worked only really briefly with Scott on something, and two of the other characters I really didn't know that well, uh, or the actors who played characters. But the reason Flush, the reason Flush came up, came apart was a um, few months before we shot the web series, I did a short film called Flush for the Road Reel, my Road Reel challenge, and people liked it. They were like, "Hey, this is a great idea. It's funny and stuff like that." So I was like, "Okay, I have more ideas for these characters and expand the universe of Flush." So I made a web series, and each episode is like three or four minutes long. Uh, there's five of them, but if you haven't seen my short film, Flushed, you should watch that first. Um, the link is going to be in the description. Also, there should be like a card or something up here that YouTube has linking Flushed, the, uh, the, the pilot episode, so to speak. So go watch that first before you watch the web series. But you're going to see Damascus to the same day this is posted, and then in the coming weeks, you're going to see episode one of Flush, and then like five days later, you're going to see the behind the scenes for Flushed. And then a week later, you'll see episode two, and then it's BTS. And you're going to see that corresponding. The BTS for each video is like 10 to 20 minutes long. So there's a way more content for the BTS than there is the actual short film. But I think the BTS is actually kind of funny in its own way. You know, us, you know, struggling to make a little web series in the hot summer of New Orleans. Um, so I think that's kind of interesting to watch. Plus, it's like my first time working with that many people on a project, which is interesting to see how that all comes together. Uh, you'll see... You'll see uh, in the BTS, you'll see Pedro, Pedro, who y'all saw in the, uh, very briefly in the uh, vlog at the other day. He was my assistant director for that. Uh, helped helped a lot keeping my time management um, going and um, uh, lots of other people who were friends of Scott's and things like that. You'll see uh, Liam and Jessica who were in Nightfall. This is the first time we worked together. They came on as the like, stunt 
Um, Liam was like stunt coordinator. Jessica was a co-coordinator, um, helping make sure that some stuff where Scott had to fall and some of the fights, not so much look real, just make sure everyone was safe. <laughs> You know, if you like Damascus and you want to see a sequel to it, uh, I had an idea. Or if you want to see a, a version with dialogue, let me know. I'll talk to the writer. Maybe we can work something out. I also had an idea for uh, season two of Flushed, but uh, I was so burnt out after making the first web series that I, I didn't want to do another. Mostly because it was my first big project, you know, six days shooting, which was a lot for me at the time. Um, but yeah, if you guys like it, you know, think. Y'all want to see more about what happens to the characters after the end? Uh, let me know. Um, can always, you know, potentially do another one. Bring Andrew on this one, you know, and make it actually look good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, BTS is real long, and I think sometimes the funnier part, maybe it's because I'm in the BTS. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe that's it. But that's it for this vlog. Like I said, it was mostly just a little channel update to understand, you know, to where all this footage is coming from, all these little... I really don't know what else to say. Should I do the dance now? I probably should do the dance now. I'm gonna do it with the mugs. <laughs> <laughs>